Hi everybody. Today's topic is going to be how Ottawa plans to reach its immigration levels in 2021. As viewers know, uh, Ottawa's immigration levels calls for 401,000 new immigrants in 2021. The question people are asking is how is the government going to reach these levels? Um, so as viewers know, uh, the number of permanent residents admissions to Canada last year fell by almost 50%. Um, and of course, this was due to the extensive uh, restrictions put in place by COVID, including border closures with the USA and, and other restrictions. But we're observing two very interesting trends that have been taking place uh, over the uh, last month. Uh, first, as uh, uh, news reports have confirmed, um, in January 2021, it was a record-breaking month for the number of permanent residents admissions to the country when over 24,000 new permanent resident applicants were admitted to Canada. Um, and this was double uh, the month of December when there was only about 10,000 who were admitted. Um, and the number in January of 24,665 was pretty much equal to what it was in January of 2020 um, before all the COVID restrictions took hold. Um, and then of course there was a really a second really interesting trend that we are now observing is that the government had a really significant express entry draw on February 13 uh, when 27,332 invitations to apply were issued in the Canada Experience class. Um, Interesting is that the CRS score was 75, where previous scores uh, under similar draws in the past uh, for this class were in the 400 range. Um, the significance of these two elements is that Ottawa intends to take great initiatives to reach its annual levels for 2021, which as we know is 401,000 uh, new immigrants. All indicators are that economic and population modeling uh, show that immigration benefits the economy. Uh, so intending applicants can expect the following. First, we know that Ottawa is going to continue looking to the Canada Experience class, which right now has very uh, minimal in its pool, uh, to meet uh, levels and to issue invitations to apply under express entry. Last year, however, it's also interesting to note that uh, in terms of Canada Experience class, the number of foreign workers who were admitted to Canada, 322,000, was 90% of the previous year's volumes. So the w volume of people who are issued work permits coming to Canada, those that have sponsoring employers, uh, that volume of individuals is very significant. And it's those people that Ottawa first looked to to fill uh, its major draw that took place on February 13. Um, there are many shortages going on under labor markets across the country. Um, in fact, what you'll see as of even today's news reports show that the uh, employment market has been on fire uh, for the first time in over a year. Um, because in January, I'm sorry, in February of this uh, year, there were 259,000 jobs created in the labor market. Uh, again, this is the best showing since, that we've seen since March of 2020. And so we can expect further draws to take place. Uh, obviously, first and foremost, filling uh, numbers coming from PNP programs, coming from Canada Experience class, but that's a long way from 400,000. So um, we can expect applications invitations to come forth under all program uh, draws uh, that we expect to take place in the near future. If you're an intending applicant to Canada, it, it goes without saying that you should be looking to submit your profile as soon as possible because there's a lot of unknown uh, factors that are taking place uh, in terms of what Otto intends to do in order to try to bring a significant volume of individuals to Canada. So if you are an applicant either in Canada working, obviously you want to get your express entry profile submitted. That's a requisite for you to be uh, considered for an invitation to apply under this broad-based economic program. Uh, also, obviously, if you're an applicant overseas, 
obviously you want to submit your uh, profile regardless of your CRS score because there's a lot of uh, elements that take place. Provinces are looking for candidates um, and scores are falling across provincial programs, across other programs. Um, and of course, if you're a candidate with good skill sets, you want to be looking for a job in Canada. There are shortages in many labor markets across the country. Um, it's interesting to note all our clients coming to immigration.ca receive a very comprehensive job search. Our latest programs that we've put together uh, include um, three hours of face-to-face -face, uh, tutorial and coaching with our in-house employment advisors through skilledworker.com and grnmontreal.com. Our team is here to help you create your LinkedIn profile and show you how to use uh, the tools that are uh, available to find who's hiring in Canada across different labor markets across the country. Our job search, which is very comprehensive, also includes a database of what we know are uh, hiring employers in your industry across the country. So we include with all our candidates uh, a database of 500 employers in your field across the country. Uh, if you're an interested candidate to Canada, come to our website and complete an assessment questionnaire. We'll get back to you within uh, two working days. Um, and we're always recruiting for certain employers across the country. We're currently looking for medical doctors uh, in the provinces of Ontario, um, Manitoba, and British Columbia, working with great employers that are hiring medical practitioners. You have to have the right requisites. You have to come from uh, what we're looking for is either you're a graduate um, from uh, institutions in the UK, Australia, Ireland, or the United States. Uh, if you don't have your medical background from those four jurisdictions, we unfortunately can't uh, bring you to uh, our employers that are looking for uh, licensed uh, medical family physicians. We're also recruiting for technology professionals on behalf of a number of employers in the technology industry across the country. So, uh, call to action for you guys. Um, come to our site, fill out a questionnaire, follow us on social media, uh, like us uh, wherever you can, and uh, definitely you want to look at our news articles which we are publishing every day uh, under um, our news article section and our next uh, presentation is going to be within the next month. Thanks so much for joining us today.